Well, good afternoon to everybody. This is David Myers, W4USA. And uh, we got the camera in the right direction this time. So we're going to go ahead and show you a quick uh, video here of monitoring satellite communications in space. This is not amateur, which we enjoy doing, but this is uh, different space communications and how inexpensive it actually is, even though it doesn't look that way. Let's take a look here. First thing we've got here, this is uh, all M MRSAT satellite. Uh, this is Sea Distress. This is the Atlantic Ocean. This is off a of satellite at uh, 54 West, which is um, over Brazil. And um, it, uh, it allows you to uh, read uh, certain data. These are emergency distresses. It actually, the software shows you where the distress is. But not only can you see the distresses, you can see all the communications by just clicking in and, and going to all. And then you can see from all over the world different uh, messages that are sent, whether it's distress, urgency, or um, safety information. And you can click on any one of them, and it stores that. I'm going to take it back to distress, which, which we uh, handle here. And uh, then we have one here for the Pacific Ocean. Same thing. Uh, it's doing its, uh, its business here. And it also handles uh, different parts of the world here. And we can look at all and see uh, where we've got stations coming in from other areas of the uh, world here. This stuff's quite easy to monitor. And again, this is marine. Now let's take a look at air. Here's some air communications we're monitoring right now. This is uh, ACARS, the aircraft reporting system. This is on 54 West, which is the Atlantic. And it's international traffic that's being sent by satellite uh, as it comes in. It's all digital, various types of information that come in. We also have a, a second channel on the same satellite that is uh, monitoring here. We got traffic block heading northbound, so you get traffic. Come on around the other lane. It'll be clear for you. And this is at 54 West satellite over Brazil and then we just added uh, yesterday uh, 98 West which is over Hawaii and these are geo satellites up 22,000 miles so the data comes through some of it's quite in interesting We also monitor um, AI, uh, the um, A cars uh, on VHF. This is VHF one thirty one decimal five five. This is not satellite. This is local, and we'll get about three hundred mile range off of these. And then we also even uh, have a system here uh, that we track aircraft flying uh, over our location. We can see out uh, about 300 miles from here as the aircraft's moving. This is all done live. We, none of this is on the internet. This is all radio. Each one of these has their own receiver, their antennas, and the computers and software. This is a uh, weather receiver for 137 megs. Most of those uh, weather satellites have been uh, 
taken out of service, so not a lot of activity on it there. And as far as um, um, receivers, we're a big fan of SDR Play. SDR Play uh, works every time. The only negative, it only goes to 2 gigs, which is fine for 98% of us. Their software always works, and their receivers always work. And I've used a lot of different receivers and software, and I have nothing but SDR Play here that I use. That's all I use. Uh, just for funsies, here's a Navtex. Uh, some of you old-timers may see this. This is around uh, 518 kilohertz, really low-frequency stuff. These are marine digital messages that come in. And we're able to monitor those all the way up here in Tennessee. We also uh, do uh, Geotron. Um, I'm sure I'm saying that wrong, but uh, we've been a big fan of them for many, many, many years. We have a pair of these up. And then uh, satellite television, which we do. Uh, this happens to be... Uh, Palestinian um, uh, television here, but uh, a lot of these different stations are available on the internet. Let me show you some antennas then real quickly here. This is a homemade antenna, a circular polarized um, 2 gigahertz antenna that I built. Out of PVC pipe, and I borrowed a uh, small uh, cake pan from the kitchen. Inside the end of it, I have a uh, amplifier mounted in inside the tube. When you're dealing at this frequency, you want to uh, take advantage of uh, remote mounting your amplifiers inside the system to allow them to. Uh, Amplify the signal prior to the noise that's on your uh, your radio Let's go outside and see what we've got out there Okay, stepping outside Welcome to eastern Tennessee Very uh, cloudy day out here today But let's take a look at some other antennas that we we have out here You see my security team is uh, out here working and uh, you kind of get what you pay for but this is a 406 meg antenna this is for the international distress frequency 406 megs and it's made out of a pie pan and a um, an inverted uh, uh, discone antenna it actually does quite a good job and I have an amplifier and filter mounted in the PVC pipe underneath it and it just sits on the porch. It's not mounted or anything. And then for satellite, I use these. They're available on Amazon for about 50 bucks or so, and sometimes even less. These things are absolutely great antennas. Uh, they have a built-in amplifier, and um, they're not extremely directional, so you can kind of point amongst it and still get your satellite. A lot of antennas that have high gain, you have to point exactly at the satellite, which is like hitting a BB at 22,000 miles in space. Quite, quite hard to do. These, you can easily move them. They work, and uh, they're very inexpensive. And we don't feed them with uh, any fancy cable like LMR 400 or 600. This is a very thin um, hard line. It comes with uh, SMA connectors on them. And you can get 50 feet for about 20 bucks. And then let me show you the super antenna here. I bought this one from a fella in England that uh, builds them, uh, does the kits for them. This is a very directional antenna. You got to point pretty accurate with it. But what a great antenna! It has a great signal. Um, has a built-in amplifiers. Uh, he did a really nice job on this. Uh, this one's uh, 10 elements. These are right-handed, circularly polarized um, antennas. 
designed for about 1.55 uh, gigahertz and they work very well and this one's a few hundred dollars so definitely not on the cheap side but uh, it really really does a good job I had to try it out the uh, other antennas uh, we were talking about over here I have uh, actually four or five more on the back porch um, just sitting on a wood rail pointing up to different satellites and they do a very very good job just make sure you get something for the frequency that you want so if you have any questions just let us know thank you for going along so you can actually monitor satellite communications um, for probably under two hundred dollars if you got an old laptop between the antenna the receiver uh, and the uh, cable so you might want to try that one day uh, enjoy doing that and I'll say 73 is from Eastern Tennessee this is W4 USA 73